mirror, mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? Well, it's certainly not you, my dear. You know this is the Jacob Hexa channel. If you haven't, here you are. If you're one of my negative six subscribers, thanks for coming back. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that button down there because you're gonna want to see what's coming this month. So today we're doing this. <laughs> the Snow White Hag. Isn't she cute? She is. So let's get into it. To do this project exactly the way that I did it, you're going to need a face cast. I'll link a good tutorial in the description box. If you don't have a face cast, instead of building up the shape on your face cast with clay, you can actually build up the shape on your actual face with cotton balls saturated with liquid latex. I'll leave a tutorial for that too. So I'm building up the shape on my face cast so that I can get it perfect and then I'm going to start smoothing out the clay so that when I apply the latex later, there's no harsh ridges or bumps. I added a pearl to the nose so it could act as the wart. Alright, and go ahead and start to build up in very thin layers the latex. You'll want about 10 layers. Be sure to powder your latex. I'm using RCMA No Color Powder. As you peel up, make sure you're powdering underneath so the latex does not stick to itself. Do this for both pieces. To give the latex pieces structure, I'm painting the inside with a liquid latex and adhering a cotton ball to the inside. So now I'm going to go ahead and test the fit and use the spirit gum to attach it. You can use any skin adhesive you'd like, even just liquid latex itself. I prefer to use spirit gum. Now we're going to take liquid latex on another cosmetic sponge and we're going to blur out the edges. I'm going a little bit far from the pieces just because I want to give my entire skin a gross decaying sort of texture. I'm sealing my prosthetic pieces with a Graftobian grease paint just to ensure it doesn't dry out. I'm covering out my brows but this part's not necessary I just wanted to be able to easily paint over them I'm going in with an Anastasia stick foundation and I found that stippling it on is better than drawing it on like you saw me do at the beginning because it dries out on top of the latex pieces And now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Palette and I'm going to go ahead and brighten the areas that I want to make it look like they're brought forward or higher. You can blend it out with a stippling brush or a beauty blender. I am doing a combination of the both. 
go ahead and start to contour with a ash toned brown uh, eyeshadow. I'm also using a dark gray. You're going to want to chisel out the features just like the Snow White hag has it on the movie. She has really dark around her eyes, so I'm going in with the brown and the gray around my eyes as well. All right, and now I'm going to make some forehead wrinkles. You can make it look like you have a furrowed brow. I decided to actually change that later on, you'll see, just because I didn't like how messy it looked. But you can do it however you'd like, just so you get that older look. Alright, and now I'm taking a black eyeshadow and drawing in those eyebrows that she has that are curved upwards in the middle. I'm using the black in small areas just to deepen them. I'm also using the black eyeshadow, I mean eyeliner, around my eyes just to deepen that darkness. Now I'm taking a white cream paint from Mayron just to highlight a little bit more. And that's the look. All right, you guys. <sighs> All right, so don't read me, but I tried to do that press on nail and the mouth thing. And I have to fix it in denture cream, but I haven't quite figured out how to use it. So, it was just kind of hanging in there with spit. But, I think other than that, it turned out pretty cute. Oh, here's a tag. That's cute. Oh, it just gets better, huh? Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. She is cute. Alright you guys, and I actually made this wig just for this tutorial. If you'd like a tutorial on how to make a wig like this, leave it in the comment section below and I'll get one out there. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, still like the video. Don't act like you want to hate. Alright, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy Witchy Ween! This is the first video of Witchy Ween. And there's three more to come, so hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Thank you. Johnny. <laughs>